Hi, my name is Hing Hua Li. Today I'm going to share one of my slideshow with you guys. The title is The One Thing. There's a saying said, without the vision, the people perish. I hope every listen, everyone listen to me right now, but you have a vision. I have this four thing here. Number one, find what. Number two, how can you do your what? Number three, who can do what with you? Four, why do you do what? Number one, find what. Russell Brunson teaches you to identify the one big domino, the one thing. That if you could knock that down, all other dominoes would either fall down or break irrelevant. When I hear this, I have an aha moment. I hope you guys have to find your one things that you can get your message out, serve people most, change people's life. It took me over six months to figure out my one thing. By the way, I joined the One Final Way Challenge in June 2019. I found this one thing in January 2020. It's still not the one Russell teaches. By the way, this one thing almost got abortion. I will tell you someday. My one thing now nah, so far is my husband, Dashua Sun, over 50 years at work and his journey. See those, I'm going to show you part of his artwork. For this part, I'm going to thank my daughter because this is her winter break. She redid the whole website. So this is the homepage design she did. So far, my husband's very happy with that. And I thanks her because it saved my time because I don't know anything I had to learn. But on her break, she did the whole thing for her daddy. And I make some pages via my ClickFunnels account. I was joking there. I said I'm a thousand percent sure none of ClickFunnels members has all the contents I have. And so far, it's all free. I just group them under Dash Lesson. So for me, in the future, it's easy to find. And. I can tell you, I'm so proud to say that Shrey's artwork is so breathtaking, beautiful. And, and I was even joking, I said, Russell, I know my one thing is not that come secret one thing. And I even make myself some kind of, you know, weird names for this. Anyways, I'm, someday I will tell you the truth, the stories. For the number two, how can you do your what? To be honest with you, I still don't know exactly how to do it, but I know it will happen someday. I know ideally there is a museum for all Dashua's paintings. Second, ideally, online museum. I have a little side notes over here for you guys. When during the winter break, my daughter Margaret suggests us to watch Black Panther. My mind was like, a, how you can build those scenes as galleries with artists' childhood work, masterpieces, father and daughter's showrooms, etc., etc. I feel so cool, amazing. I didn't know I enjoyed the movie or the movie I created in my mind. Maybe both. Anyways, if you guys out there listen to me, you know sometimes you have something in your mind and then when you watch a movie, maybe you're just creating different pictures. Anyways, I'm continuing to say how can you do your what. Some people, you know, like I work with, they tell me I'm crazy because they keep saying how dare I can compare my husband painting with three Renaissance giants. Maybe they are right, but from my point, I just believe in his work. Anyway, whoever 
tell me I'm crazy. I just like I said, it's sometimes you know people just mistreat you. So most time I just make fun with the person. I learned a lot in this twenty four years. Because sometimes I just said, you know, the life too short. Don't be miserable person. It's not good for your health. But some people they do like to give you opinions, but just let them talk. You know, you like I said, I, I don't have a religion, but I know who I am, and I believe in Dasha's artwork, and not because he's my husband. It's just his work is pretty, anyways. <laughs> As long like. Same like everything in your life or in your business. If you believe in something, you have permission. You give yourself a permission to promote them. Okay. Anyways, and of course, like I said, like like Russell teaching you guys is how can you do your what? Like I said, I'm still don't know how, but I know continue moving. So I put all that just work together. Someday when we're ready, at least we have everything. There, right? So it's easy to put them together. And like I said, whatever happened in your life is everything happened for a reason. So just enjoy the process. Here, let me see. Number three, we're talking about who can do what with you. Russell Brunson's secret weapon is Dream One Hundred. He also said, "Have a vision, start running. Who will show up?" After I started read his two secret books, actually, sometimes I tease him a lot because he talking about Dream One Hundred, and in my mind, I just said, "Oh my! If I could get you as my Dream One, you will fill up all the numbers after one." Actually, I gave him home homework, right? That's remind me when I was in middle school, I left part of my composition blank. My teacher wrote the back. I wrote some. I write something here in Chinese. Basically, she tried to tell me, "I don't finish your home homework you give to me." Or maybe Russell will do the same thing. Anyways, let's continue. But for me, my who like that's you know when you read it. Russell's book, you know, you need have your dream customer, your avatar. For my avatar, that person, I should right say, is a great husband or wife, and a great father or mother, and believable, successful, but still being humble, being grateful for things around him or her, thinking positively. Have a vision, a face, provide value to people and the world, or with the labor. I sometimes I even imagine, you know, my avatar. I I just thinking if he or she was the patron of extraordinary artist, the art world would mention his name or his family name hundreds of thousand years. Like people when talking about the three Renaissance giants, they have to mention the two members of Medici, and then two popes. Is that amazing? It's so cool, right? Anyway, I here I'm like a word hacking Russell's words. He he keeps saying he's a click click funnel. He's talking. He believe it so deeply in my soul. That's what he said. That's what I do with my husband paintings. Even though sometimes I'm fighting with him. You know, like husband and wife, sometimes it's just annoying each other, so we just argue. But for his artwork, I never ever lose any, like, what should I say, beliefs. I believe someday his work will give the world people like a happiness. Look over here, I show you this his figures. By the way, this one piece is one of my favorite. I even ask the one of those website to make this T-shirt. I still have it with me. Anyway, that's another part of his dream series. His whole thing, like this is his dream series, and here they call it old series. Anyway. Because that's why consistently study old masters, especially three Renaissance giants. He instills 
spirit and soul into his own art. Nowadays, they call die-hard fans, right? I think Dashue is one of the three Renaissance giants die-hard fans, because he could just travel in different countries and different cities to see those three giants masterpieces to study the soul of those masterpieces. This is some example I can show you. See this one when we were in Poland to see this Da Vinci's painting. This in Russia. And of course, over there you don't need; they don't let you take pictures. So he took picture over here. And then those when we went to Italy, this is Botticelli's painting. And here, it's、uh, oh my God! Now I'm gonna lose my word. It's Michelangelo's.、Uh, besides his,、uh, oh my God! Now I lost it. Be, be, besides his David and this another famous architecture. No, I'm sorry. What I'm talking about sculpture. Now I lose the words. Anyways, you know what I mean. Here, in behind over here is Da Vinci's Last Supper. Anyways, he really like he's not tired at all to just travel in the world to see the old、oh, masters' masterpiece. By the way, I'm trying to talk a little bit about the power of the art. You see, the three Renaissance giants, Michelangelo was the last one passed away. Think about it. Four and a half century later, the curator still she would take eight years to curate this exhibition, and that's like a metropolitan museum. The Most, I think they said, tens most visited、uh, exhibition in his in its history. Because over seven hundred thousand people visit this show. Of course, you know Dasha will go over there too. So we would see this is like a part of the pictures when they have that show in Met. Oh, here we go. Let's see. And also, you know, through the traveling, I realize you know all the museums all over the world. There are so many paintings inside, but most of the time people only stand in front of those old masters masterpiece. Even the tour guy, when they take people there, they always go to that favorite favorite painting. See, that's one of them. You see, so many people behind this、uh, Rembrandt painting, and see here, you see the people take pictures. Here is Raphael as one of the painting you can see from here. So many people, and this one, of course, you know, it's David. Okay, let's see. And also, you know, when you're talking about the art, I know the art market is it's not a hot market because nowadays when they're talking about the art market, market they keep talking about wealth, health, and relationship. But even though art market is It's kind of not hard market, but it is hard. You know, people can pay millions for one piece. This is one example. If someone pay eighty six million for this painting, if you want to know story about this, ask Tony Robertson. Anyway, just kidding. Anyways, I hope you guys understand what I'm talking about. Like whatever you like, study or learning up there. You try to make it simple. Find the one thing you really passionate about, and you can focus on that. But for me, so far, this is what I focus. And of course, on my way to learning, I'm going to share what I learned. And later, on, I'm going to, you know, like show you more and、uh, like either Dasha's paintings or what I learned from Funnel Point or like what I learned from Russell Brunson's. Anyway, I'm going to share with you. So I, I keep telling everyone, don't let age. Like some people say, oh, you're too old to learn that. Don't listen to them. I'm in my fifties. I'm still learning. Just、uh, every day you learn something, you will getting better and better. I clearly talk to you guys soon.